The past is a mirror to the future. Or so a friend once said to me. I did not believe it then. I do now. The past walks with us. Its face is the face of all those we have hated. All we have loved, all we have failed. They say that to be an agent of the Imperial Inquisition is to see the true horror of the universe and still have the will to prevail. As with all things, there is another face to the truth. I have looked on the terrors of the universe and cast them down. I have judged billions and forgiven some. I have known victory and touched defeat. And the lesson that all my years as an inquisitor have taught me is that it is not enough to prevail. We have to endure the poison of history. We have to survive our own sins. My name is Gregor Eisenhorn, and these deeds were mine. Hunting the recidivist murdered in Eichlund, I came to Hubris in the dormant of 240.M41, as the Imperial Sidereal calendar has it. Dormant lasted 11 months of Hubris's 29-month lunar year, and the only signs of life were the custodians patrolling the precincts of the hibernation tombs. Where are the tomb's custodians? They are making their round. Knowing we approach? Knowing we expect to meet them? I will check. I had heard of the bitter cold and prayed to the Emperor that I would never feel it again. Stay back. Processional 212 was a hibernation tomb at the west end of the Great Imperial Avenue. It housed 12,142 members of the hubris ruling elite. You know how dangerous Iclone is. He's an animal, a dangerous one, but we'll put him down. We have him cornered. That'll make him more of a threat than ever. Watch your back. You too, Eisenhorn. I admit I was excited, eager to close and conclude a business that had lasted six years. Iclone had evaded me for six whole years. I studied his methods every day and dreamed of him every night. Now, I could smell him. Shh. 
in every direction, rows and rows of ice berths ranged down the smooth basalt chambers. It was like walking into the Imperium's grandest morgue. Their eyes were dark and unforthcoming, as though they had done this mindlessly, by order. All my life, I have had a reputation for being cold, unfeeling. I am not, but I possess a singular force of will. To feel pain, fear, or grief is a luxury I cannot afford. Throughout my career, it has served me well to steel myself against all that this wretched galaxy can throw at me. Loris Vibben had served with me for five and a half years. In that period, she had saved my life twice. When I recruited her from the clan slums of Tornish, it was for her combat skills. But I came to value her for her sharp mind, soft wit, and clear head. I stared down at her body for a moment. I believe I may have uttered her name. I made a promise to myself. I would kill Iclone with this gun. Norm? Gregor, is that you? You're dead, you know, Gregor. Dead like they all are. Step out and make it quick. He was good. I'll give him that. My legs actually twitched, almost starting to walk me clear of cover into the open. Iclone was infamous across a dozen settled systems for his mind powers and mesmeric tone. How else had he managed to get these dark-eyed fools to do his bidding? But I have similar skills. 
and I have honed them well. Show yourself first. What makes you think you can catch me this time, Gregor? You've failed so many times before. Minute, Gregor. You don't want to kill me. You want to join me. The sleepers awaken. Their frigid bodies sore with hibernation sickness. Trapped in their caskets with no one to aid them. I bid Betancourt alert the custodians. Apparently, relief crews were on their way. But why? Why was Iclone doing this? Almost got you, Gregor. You're only stretching this out, I clone. <laughs> Feeling cold, Eisenhorn? You'll join these corpses soon. I hesitated. A merciful headshot would have spared her everything. But once awake, the hierarchy of hubris would not understand a mercy killing. Do you think me weak? Flawed? To set my duty before her suffering? I would gladly ignore one life in agony if I could save a hundred, a thousand more. For I have the moral strength required of an Inquisitor. Mankind must suffer, so that mankind can survive. It's that simple. But to this day, I still dream of the slow death to which I abandoned her.